So who are some of the the notable people you've made guitars or mandolins for? Well, let's see. I've made a mandolin for bluegrass people like Doc Watson and Peter Rowan. Which I know, yeah. And uh, made guitars for Eric Clapton and Norman Blake and Doc Watson, too. And Tommy Mack, one of the best pickers in the world, probably. You know, he's got yep. one of my guitars. Wow. And, uh, oh, I, I can't remember this at all. <laughs> How long did it take you to make this one? Uh, it takes me a couple of weeks to do these things. They're, okay. they're, I haven't had all this carving that's cut out of a thick piece, you know, to get the arch in it and everything. It is copied after a Gibson oh, okay. an F5 uh -huh. made in the 1920s, and when they, at the time, those were made like that, there was a fellow named Lloyd Lower worked for the company. Okay. And he, he had them do that. <coughs> had them put together and string them up and let him test them. <laughs> and, and if he approved them, he would sign the label. And I've got even copies of those labels, but I put my name on them instead. Instead of his, right? Oh, it takes a lot of whittling and carving and messing. I still got a lot of sand in the day before I finish it. Oh, wow. So do you play the mandolin then? I can play a little bit. Which president was that? Uh, Clinton. Okay. Got to meet Hillary. And oh yeah. <laughs> played in Carnegie Hall. Done that. All right. The queen. Yeah, played for the queen. All right. <laughs> That's pretty good. Was that in in England? No, when she came to Richmond. Yeah, yeah. Oh okay. No, she came to Richmond. But you've played in. She the... came over for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you and her are tight, huh? <laughs> Guards? Mm hmm. These are the pick guards. Ah. You make so them out of a chemical or? I made out of epoxy. epoxy. Really? So, yeah, it's just plastic and huh. you may wait for it to dry. And then and this one, I was going to, my dad asked me to try and make a Paisley one to oh, put on Brad, Brad Paisley. Paisley's guitar because he wanted something Paisley on his. And so, does that look Paisley? Yes. It's like the on the cloth. Paisley. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. That's a, yeah, Daddy's upset. He's gonna have to wear a, a paisley purple bow tie for you our are? wedding. Yeah, he's really upset about it. <laughs> They're just kind Pretty of. Cool process. Yeah, it's you just fun to do. Surfboard epoxy. Oh yeah. Okay. You mix it up and one color first, then you just stir in all the design and stuff. Okay. So you get creative. Then you bake it in a little box out there with light bulbs for. About three hours. So how did how did Brad Paisley get a hold of you for? Well, he. Uh, I just know uh, his record producer's dad is a friend of mine, and uh -huh. so they talk about it and everything. And I built a mandolin for him and they use on some of his records, and, and then he asked for a guitar. And I guess hopefully I'll get around to making it sometime. So how long does how long does he have to wait? 
Well, yeah. probably not too long. Just if I, <laughs> if I could get some of this other stuff done, you know, so yeah. it could work on it. Yeah. So there's Yay! bluegrass legend Doc Watson okay, with Wayne. Actually, I can make. I was gonna make you a bracelet. So it, it's quite the stick. So this is Wayne and Doc Watson here. You said some mason guy built it on. He just came in and started building it. It's, and it's kind of neat. It's a little bench, and there are these little things. That's wild. <laughs> that sit in there. <laughs> oh, what is that? I, I don't know. It's just like it's I don't know. So this is, is the first the, guitar you ever made. First one that. Uh, got made with a number in it. What's what's the significance of that then? Well, I've, I've been numbering every one I've ever made since. Oh, I got you. So okay. What number are you up to now? Uh, Five hundred and thirty-six. I got you. These huh. uh, these things are made out of a. Uh, there's an old cow died up on the hill, <laughs> and I'm up there and got the bones and with a file and filed them out. Wow. And these little blocks. Just cut out of a walnut and maple with a whittling knife. Wow. That thing too. Do you still have the very first one you made as a kid? Yeah, well, I've I've got a box, a cardboard box with a wooden neck on it and fish line. <laughs> and how old were you when you made that, Betty? Oh, I'd say seven or eight. This is the first guitar you ever made. That's one of the one of the first oh. ones I can't remember. <laughs> that is so cute. How long has it been since you played it? Oh, it just got one string on it. <laughs> got a mouse hole in it. <laughs> and probably I used to rebox them. It's probably older than that, but it's like a what a nineteen fifty fifty nine or might be fifty, yeah. And how old were you when you made this? I would say seven or eight or somewhere. I can't remember for sure. So was this just a two string cool. guitar? Yeah, that's just a that fish line on it, but I could play a tune on it at the time. That's you know, so play something, that's you know. cool. That is so pretty. Joseph, do you is want do you want to make a guitar out of a tobacco box? No. <laughs> no. Not today. Maybe another. Hey. <laughs> 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 what is this called? Just a, a hooey stick. A hooey stick. Yeah. Say hooey, and it'll go the other way. That's what it is, huh? Yeah. Hooey. Oh, I see. Okay. Hooey. You see the propeller change? I do. Direction. Yeah, I'm just starting to see.